so good day so for the DHCP server first we need to um, install uh, the DHCP server so first is go to the add roles or the first is <coughs> go to go to server manager and then in the right side you can you see the add roles so add then next then look for the DHCP server so just check uh, check or click the DHCP server then next next then next then here uh, in the requirements you need to uh, a router IP address is valid uh, IP address so we need to valid uh, validate the IP address so uh, as you can see it's valid so next is the outer DNS server just click so also valid so next in this um, um, in this um, section or the win settings we need to click the radio button when it's required for application on this network so let's put here the 172 or the IP block here the, gi uh, the given IP block then uh, 0.131.0.0 .0 .0. And in the uh, outer, um, just leave a blank. Then next, in this CP scope, mm -hmm. okay, okay. So just next, let's uh, mamaya tayo magad ng scope or ng scope so next lang natin to enable then the parent domain is tupt.com then prepare dns ip version 6 address so iba validate din natin siya so valid naman din good mm, click next then uh, use the current credentials which is the tupt slash administrator so next then click install and just for the installation so we finished the set the IP block and we already valid the IP address and and then the DH, DNS server IP address is the same as the HP server so same naman sila then add google and open DNS public server and so close so i-add natin siya mamaya yung sabi dito na open and DNS so after natin siya ma-install so um, x na natin siya start administrative tools then um lipat na natin sya dito ok para ano um let's go to the dhcp so administrative tools look for the DHCP and then click this and the expand natin sya click natin si IPv4 so mag add scope tayo so right click lang natin sya then new scope wait yan new scope next and lagay tayo dito ng scope name which is ano tup t dot oh. okay pwede naman 
And then set natin siya yung IP block niya which is the uh, 172 172.168.13.0 Ayan And then The end nya is 172.168.13.0 na lang to. Kasi hindi siya pwede mag 0 eh. So, length nya uh, ay ano lang natin siya as is. So, next. So, sa IP address nya um, i-add natin <coughs> 172.168.31 Oh! Mali pala yung IP block natin. So, 31 pala to then zero to yan one zero then one fifty yan so next lang natin next so dito is thirty one zero then 1 and, and IP address naman nya is 172 131.0 um, 30 so and next is 172 31.0.121 and then the uh, and IP address is 172.31.0.150 so add so next so this is set nothing time is nakalagay dito is 8 hours lang natin, yes lang yan, dito out, so i-add na natin dito yung mga so na-distribute na natin yung first 30 and last 30 valid IP address so dito i-set na natin si IP address so, ang IP address natin is 192.168.13.0 uh, add Yeah. So next. Uh, nine, two, six, eight, six, eight, uh, uh, nine, uh, one, two, seven, zero, dot, zero, dot, one. And then C google h is 8 nag-add naman. So, next is 8844 4. Tagal lang yung validation niya kasi via valid nga niya. Ayan. Next is to si open DNS. 
kay open dns search natin yan 2 so 2 0 add The next is yung isa 2 8 um, 7 2 na natin So next natin Add naman din natin sya dito. Ayan. 2 is here. A. Dot 87. Dot 2. Ay. 87. Dot 222. Dot 222. Add. Isa pa. Dot 220. Dot So next active natin siya then finish and yan let's go ah uh, dito naman pwede nyo rin sya ima i dito nyo na iset so may kita nyo sya dito on figure options so sa routes set nyo sya dito ya yeah, add nyo si routes so 1 1 3 0 dot 1 ah, so yun, yun may kita nyo na sya dito so pansin natin click nyo lang to yan so ang wala pa pala tayo is si, route, si router si trace so pwede natin sya ilagay dito click lang natin sya then IP address natin is 192.168.0.1 1 add one nine two dot one add one two seven dot this the other uh, DNS zero dot zero dot one so si Google which is eight that 8.8.8 add natin 8.8.4.4 open address uh, open dns so 208 2.0.8.67.222 um, so, isa nya si 2.0.8.68.222 220 uh, 220 220 so apply then okay so yan ipag-click nyo yun nandiyan na siya add na natin yung mga IP address na nasa requirements so yun lang po yung sa DHCP server so let's proceed to the file sharing